Hello and welcome back to more- oh. Oh sorry Gohan, am I boring you? But welcome back to more Legacy of Goku 2. Which I always want to call Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 3. Because, you know, it rhymes and I'm such a poet. Wait, where are we go? Oh yeah. We're meeting up to make a plan to die. Squirrel! Okay. Let's get on over there, meet up with the gang. Who are all going to die, so you know. Seems fun. Bow. Alright. Oh, I found the sea and battle armor. God, Gohan, you really should be liking some quick change act. You open a chest. Instead of using, like, curtains or something, he uses a text box that pops up. Let's go flying. <laughs> Woo! Look at this, completely un... you know... Diff indifferent, indifferent beast of it, I'm gonna start talking. Arr. Arr. Ow. Okay, let's beat up some mosquito robots. Eat that chicken. Eat that chicken. Go, stop it, go away. Okay, I don't trust Bam! These enemies are actually really annoying. Okay. That's strange, those robots look like part of the old Red Ribbon Army my dad told me about. He described them so clearly. And, you know, now we're fighting cats. Because why not? What's over here? Bam! Oh, okay. You blow up those cats. Gohan is chief level 3. Yeah, I might as well go over there to kind of demonstrate that there is nothing there. Come back next time for a demonstration of more stuff that's not there. Ow. Alright. As you can see, enemies drop these little lemons. That will refill your energy. Punch him! Kick him head! Only Goku is allowed to pass through this barrier. Well, that seems a bit mean. Can't you make an exception? Bam. Bam. Okay. I wonder what they actually think of these barriers. Like, oh, stop it. Go away. Damn cats. Stealing all our milk. Like, if you were just walking around the world and you saw a barrier, like, what, you wouldn't, I mean like generally just a giant green wall, you'd be like, okay, that's, uh, oh, god damn it, stupid cats, okay, that's not the first time I've said that sentence. And uh, what, oh, save points don't heal you, what is this? Some kind of difficult game? Hi, Baldy. Oh, okay, hey, bro. Hombre. Broham. Hi, Baldy, with an eye on his head. I've never felt any. Okay, he has the same voice as Gohan when he was evil. And I have the feeling this is only. Okay, okay, I can't even. I'm scared, aren't you? Are you afraid, Gohan? We all know Chess, he sounds like that. That one episode in the anime when he first came into it and he was like, Hi, I go on! And we just got a capsule. I might as well just use on Gohan because... What, what did I just... Oh. You gotta love that speeding up. Accidentally. I came here to see Frieza, but damn just mad at me. Do you realize what Frieza will do? Oh, that was the same. Oh, forget it. Do you realize what Frieza will do to you when he finds you here? Of course I do. He'll come down and blow up the planet, but I want to see him before he does. What's wrong with that? Besides, the is kind of cute, like a dog or a duck or a penguin. It's amazing how every time you open your mouth, you prove you're an idiot. That was the greatest Vegeta impression you've ever heard. I'm terrified of Frieza, but I have to stick with Yamcha. 
He's got an electrifying collar around my neck that will kill me if I go away from him. Alright, is everyone here? Good. Just over that ridge to the north is the place where Frieza will be touching down. I don't actually remember how Yamcha signs in the anime, but... Are you sure, Vegeta? Yes, I'm sure. No, zip it, I don't want him to know we're waiting, because he can hear you from all that way away, somehow. As soon as you're ready to fight Frieza, head over the ridge. I won't mince words here. Odds are, without Goku, none of us will survive fighting Frieza, but we have to try. Great. Um... You know... Crap, what's the word? Except for the bird. Because, you know, that's always the word. But great speech from Piccolo. Really, uh, backs up my confidence. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Why are they all doing these little weird things? Like, Vegeta looked like he was doing, like, the Macarena. So this is... Uh, how quaint. Yes, how very quaint. It's fitting that the Saiyan should call such a puny planet home. Honestly, Fraser, we could have just destroyed... to finish this by simply destroying the planet from space. Father, I, that would spoil all the fun. I plan to save my revenge every little bit. It's his fault that I have this cybernetic body. He humiliated me. When Goku returns home, he shall find everything he has ever known in ruins. He will know the wrath of Freezer. <laughs> Not that I don't just love at him, but I still don't see why we shan't simply destroy this pathetic model right now. Why, Father, it was you who taught me the fine art of revenge. Allow me to demonstrate by vaporizing, vaporizing all of the Saiyan speech capabilities, and one by one, and again. <laughs> and my, oh my, won't he be surprised when he returns home and finds no one to welcome him except me, soldiers? Are you ready for the uniformity on this unit? Oh, one on each side. I like how they're perfectly patterned. I want you to begin your search for the Saints' pathetic friends, and when you find them, show no mercy. Epic music. This is the epic music. I have to turn up the epic music. Not so fast! You must be Frieza. I've been waiting a long time to meet you face to face. We have a guest. Oh, this music. Now I'm going to destroy you. Oh, we'd better run, isn't that right, father? Heh. 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 You don't know what you're up against, boy. I know exactly what I'm up against, Frieza. And let me tell you, I'm not worried. Make no mistake, I'm going to finish you off once and for all. Who is this guy? His power level is huge! Oh, Krillin, would you go so far to say as it's over 9,000? Because I think it's much higher than that. His power level makes Frieza seem like nothing. Incredible! I've, only, I've never sensed anything like this before! Where would someone with this kind of power have come from? How ironic that it's Vegeta who says that. If nothing else, I'd say this crystal creature is quite a comedian. Enough joking around. You two are about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. What? You crack me up, kid. Ha. 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 What is this? Oh, his right. Oh, are you ready for the awesome spray? I remember I used to like this was like the most epic spray in a minute. Okay, not him. He he's not. Okay, he is kind of epic, but he looks like pedo face, but So this is a Super Saiyan. Pow. Pow. Two with one. Two with one. Are you ready? Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, I am I am slain. He's like, what? Frieza. My boy. Super Saiyan, I'm impressed. To encounter a fighter of your caliber is a rare occurrence indeed. You see, I can appreciate a great talent such as yours. My eyes are not blinded by brightness like my sons were. Join me, and together we will take over the universe. Join the dark side, Luke. I am your father. That's right. That's awesome. But he doesn't even look like that later, when you actually get to play as him. Not Sprite, the... whatever you call it. Not a chance. Very well, if you ain't join me, I'll destroy you. Bam! One shot. 
he just turns into dust. And then goes back to like, you know, his bowl head, purple hair. I'm heading off to the place near here to meet Goku. Would you guys like to come? Weird, how does he know about my father? Just follow me. Goddamn with these magical appearing rocks. What do you have to say about this, Vegeta? I don't know who he is, but he's no Super Saiyan. And another great insightful comment from Vegeta. Oh, I only just noticed how close I am to leveling up. Hi, Baldy. Hi, small person. Hi, other Baldy. Who hides it? Hi, other Baldy. Why do you have to fly so far in front? Who do you think, is it? Who do you, think you are? Think I think I won't like pow, pow. Oh, okay. Don't hurt me. Excuse me, Mister, but how do you know my dad? Actually, I haven't met your dad before. I've just heard about about him. Then how do you know he's going to arrive at this spot? All the annoying characters have the same voice. Well, that's uh, sorry, I can't say. Why not? I'll tell you. It's because you're up to something. Tell us now, tough guy. Where are you? I mean, who, who are you? Where am I? I'm right here. I wish I could say sorry. When you defeated Freezer and that other guy, you were a Super Saiyan, right? Weren't you? I mean, yes, I was. Yeah, was he? Yeah, was he doing a little Macarena? Hey, Macarena. That's a lie. Kakarot's the one you called Goku, and myself are the only Saiyans left. Kakarot's kid there is half Saiyan, so if you count him, that makes three of us. There is no way that you could have Saiyan blood. No answer. It figures. Goku should be arriving any second now. Okay, but stuff about time travel I don't understand. If Trunks... If the first time... This is just... If the first time this happened, everyone died and the androids killed everyone, and then Trunks was left, and then he, he's gone back in time to stop Freezer. But if everyone was dead, he wouldn't be there the first time to stop Freezer. So when you get back to the very first time he went back in time, he couldn't have been there the first time. And I'm not explaining this very well, but welcome back, Goku. <laughs> I like that, um... It's a nice outfit. He knows all about you, Daddy. Okay, he predicted, like, one thing, and they assume he knows everything. That's impossible! We've never met! Wait, if she knows that it's possible to track his ship in outer space, why couldn't she do that? She's like, tech guy, girl, person. This guy defeated him. He turned into a Super Saiyan and picked him apart. Goku, can I have a word with you? You can, on the next episode.